He perhaps needs not much introduction to you all. A graphic designer, a curator, a professor at uh, Musashino Art University, art director of Muji, it goes on and on. He is probably one of Japan's leading thinkers and most definitely one of the leading exponents of contemporary design. We are delighted that he is here with us today. I personally owe Harasan a great deal with regard to this project. It is a privilege to continually learn from him and discover so many new ways of thinking, as I'm sure we will all today. What I have come to realize is how remarkably sensitive he is to Japan's cultural heritage and how importantly he reimagines and rethinks this for the future of design. This is no less evident in our exhibition, which opens tomorrow, <laughs> and I highly recommend you go and see it. So without further ado, could you please join me in welcoming Mr. Hara Kenya. <clears throat> Uh, thank you very much, Simon. A ni nice introduction. So, uh, thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 So, Hello. I'm Hara Kenya, the art director of the uh, Satru exhibition. And I'm the chief creative director of Japan House. And today, I focus on two topics. One is empty. Another one is Satru. The reason why I explained the concept of emptiness just before the subtle, it is more easier for you to understand this concept. So, and I'm going to focus on Japan a bit. But the world is be became become more and more global. The more the world becomes global, the more the importance of local, I think. There is no global culture. The essence of culture is in local. So I just to focus on Japan from this viewpoint. Please understand. OK, let's start with the concept of empty or emptiness. In the ancient of Japan, people thought that the wisdom is in nature. God is in nature. God is a sim symbol of the wisdom of nature. And God is floating everywhere, sometimes in the mountain, on the mountain, and sometimes beside a field, and sometimes in the village, and sometimes in the bottom. That in the uh, deep seas, God goes everywhere. So, God is everywhere. When, I, when we pulled out the daikon radishes, there's a God on the tip of it. And even in the piece of rice, there are seven goddesses, the Japanese people saw. And, but it is very difficult to make appointment with God because uh, God is the power of nature. So the ancient Japanese people create this kind of structure. Four pillar, and on the top of the pillar is connected by straw ropes. So there is a structure of emptiness. There is nothing inside. So there is a possibility to be filled. God goes everywhere. So the God may find it and enter. God may enter in this emptiness. This may is very important. God may enter. There is a possibility to be filled. The emptiness is a kind of the possibility to be filled. That is very important. When we put a roof in this empty structure, we can create a center core of Shinto shrine. In the middle, in the center, in the inside of the center core of Shinto shrine is empty. The God may enter. And this is another kind of the emptiness. We call it Tori, the gates. 
is the real one. Passing through the success successive tree, we reach the in front of the center core of sh shrine. The center core is empty, so the people throw their prey into the inside of the emptiness and feel the existence of God passing through the empty space. By using this kind of empty space, the old Japanese people made a communication with God. This is the basic structure of Japanese Shinto shrine. This is the real one. The most important Shinto shrine is a shrine. The center core of the architect is empty. Please remember the emptiness as a creative receptacle that can get uh, many kinds of images. By using these tools, the Japanese people make a communication to the everything. And then I just to talk about the difference between the simplicity and emptiness. So the, the concept of simplicity is very new. It is founded about 150 years ago or 200 years ago, I think. Because the world is started with a decoration, flamboyant decoration. Because uh, this is the earthenware of the earthen age. So the, the surface of the vessel is filled with uh, flamboyant decoration. Because the history of the world is beginning with the history of kings. So the, that kind of, in such a kind of society, the kings should show the great power of the authority or the dominance by using this kind of complicated decoration. So this is another decoration to show the power of the emperor in China. And in India, so Shah Jahan created this kind of great uh, for his uh, prince to show the power of the uh, Shah Jahan. This is uh, Taj Mahal. The very complicated pattern is carved in the surface of the stone. And in the Islam, the absolute pattern is covered with the surface of the interior of church to show the great power of Islam. And in the abs absolute monarchs in Europe, so the Rococo style and the Baroque style, so very de decorative uh, uh, detail is covered with interiors to show the powers of kings. So the, this kind of decoration is to show the level of the highest, higher people the position of the higher people. But this kind of age to show the power of kings is concluded. The modern society has come. The shape of chair is changed rapidly. I think within the 100 years, the so basic situation of creative chairs concept is changed, I think, because the relationship Material and forms and function has partially changed. The rationality is more important to create things. So the, this kind of chair is founded in the situation, in the context of modernism. Okay. As a student of design, I learn a lot from the European modernism. I like simplicity. I love simplicity. And so rationality is a very important way of thinking to create things. But more than 300 years just before the modernism, Japanese people always, already use this kind of tools in the daily lives. What we should call this style? It is simple. No, simplicity is not found. I think this kind of shape is from the concept of empty. 
So, please see these maps. Japanese archipelago is in the tip of the eastern edge, eastern edge of Eurasia. If we tilted 90 degrees Eurasia plate, Japanese archipelago is in the bottom of the Eurasia. The ball is from the top, falling into the Japanese archipelago finally. The balls end its trip to into the Japanese archipelago. From the Rome, passing through the Russia, from India, China, Korea, the ball is gathering into the Japanese archipelago. Well, the Japanese uh, culture is uh, influenced from all over the world. Because the uh, world is covered with a flamboyant decoration, Japanese culture was dec too much decorated at once, influenced from all over the world. But in the middle of the 15th century, Kyoto, at that, uh, Kyoto was that, uh, Metropolis at that time. And Kyoto has been destroyed by the big civil war called Onin no Ran. This civil war ran more than the 10 years in Kyoto. The temple is destroyed, kimono had burned, the picture is destroyed, garden is destroyed. Many kinds of the cultural asset is lost in this civil war. So the shogun at that time was Yoshimasa Ashikaga, Ashikaga Yoshimasa. He's not so good at control the political situation, but he had a good eye. He was a connoisseur. By passing the uh, position of shogun to his son, after passing the uh, uh, position of shogun, he retired in the east end of Kyoto. And he created this kind of the architecture uh, at, that, at that those zone. So this is a study he always used, named Dojinsai. Dojinsai is in Jisho Temple in Ginkakuji today. So the, all the interior looks very minimal. The tatai mat is on the floor, and the right side of the uh, right side is sliding shoji door there. And in the end of the desktop, there is a, another sliding shoji door. And when when we open it, the manicured beautiful garden is appeared. Very minimal, but very beautiful, I think. The Japanese culture was reset at the civil war only in one, only in the run, and partially changed. The garden changed to this style at that time. Very empty. By using, by seeing this kind of the empty garden, people can talk themselves by, talk by themselves by using this empty space. So giving their images into this empty space and getting some images from empty gardens. And uh, this picture is a very famous one. This uh, picture is uh, draw, uh, drawn in the 15th century. So the, in this picture, the empty space is more important than the drawn space. This picture is drawn, so the theme of this picture is a pine tree, pine forest. But the most of the space is covered with mist. So in this picture, empty space acts as a creative receptacle of many images. Ikebana is going the same method. In this age, the channel you, the Ikebana, the flower arrangement, no play, and the garden and architecture is uh, reset. And uh, so uh, 
empty, emptiness is the best, most important aesthetic uh, in this age. Do you understand? So the, I just to explain the basic mechanism of tea ceremony. The tea room is very small and empty. The tea room as an empty theater that can be changed anywhere. So when we put the small basin filled with water and spread the petal of cherry blooms on its surface, the guest and host can get the same images. Just sitting in the cherry tree in full bloom. That is the illusion, kind of the illusion. By seeing through the very small equipment, the guests and hosts can get the share the same imagination. That is a mechanism of tea ceremony. Empty space can be the creative receptacle of imagination. And changing a small equipment, only changing a small equi equipment, this small theater can be changed. From the cherry blossom tree to the seaside, seashore. By using, by changing only small equipment. So, this is the Muji product. The Muji product looks very simple, but the basic aesthetic is partially different from the simplicity, I think. Muji's product is empty. Muji don't create one special simple table for the old people, and don't create another simple table for the young people. Muji's table is one. It's one table just fits uh, any kind of context of the user. This kind of flexibility is very important for Muji. How do you think? This is a poster I created for Muji. So there is nothing, but there is everything. Muji don't say anything. But uh, one customer think this poster show the feeling of no design, a low price product. And other people think this poster shows a eco ecologically friendly feeling. And other people think this poster shows the spirit of Zen. But Muj don't say anything, only, the, only make the eye contact and say nothing. But by using this kind of images, so music can communicate everything, every, every people, by using the method of emptiness. So this is the most famous Muji products. So the mattress without foot, uh, without foot, uh, uh, mattress with foot. So the the customer can use this one as a bed. Another customer can use this one as a sofa. And combining this soft floor together, they can create another very soft rooms. So this kind of product, the function is of this kind of product is dependent depend on the context of user. That is very important. This is a symbol of simplicity, I think, the henkel knife. I always use, use this knife in my kitchen. When I grip it, the position of fing finger naturally fits. Perfectly. Very so this is very fantastic knife, I think. But this is Japanese knife. The grip is plain. You can grip it from any angles. But uh, this simple plain uh, uh, grip can receive the many kinds of technique of the Japanese chef. This is simplicity. This is empty. Please remember this method as a emptiness, a creative receptacle. The Muji is founded in 1980 with uh, 40 items. But the uh, number of items become more than the 7,050 
today. The, perfectly, per, the situation is perfectly changed. But I have not so much time to talk about the Muji. So the Muji is always changing. The Muji Hotel is opened in Shenzhen in China last year. So the, in the Muji store, you can only buy the Muji's article. But in Muji Hotel, you can uh, have the experience <coughs> of Muji by staying there. From the detail of hotel items, you can feel the concept of Muji. The Muji's Beijing is open in this June in Beijing. The Muji is not the product brand. Muji can be e everything. So if Muji were the airline, which kind of service should be, uh, which kind of service Muji should create? If Muji was a travel agency, what kind of travel Muji can create? If, so Muji create a soccer team, baseball team, what kind of teams we should create. So I think it is very interesting. Muji is only the concept. Muji is only the salt. OK. Please remember the concept of empty. That is the basic aesthetic of Japan. And we'd like to sh move to Saturn. So just before talking about the concept of Saturn, we should talk about the Takeo company. And Takeo is a paper company. But Takeo don't create, don't manufacturing paper. The Takeo is a kind of the director of paper industry. Takeo have a very fantastic collaboration with a creator in Japan. And always thinking about a new uh, marketing with, with paper. So the Takeo planning plant always a new paper and ask the manufacturer or maker to create paper and stock it. And creating the fantastic uh, stock system and circulating paper and create a very fantastic sample books. And spread this sample book all the creators. This is a most important highway of paper in Japan. And not only circulating paper, not only showing the possibility of paper, Takeo is always doing the education for the creator. So if the creator can use the paper more, fantastic. The paper market becomes more fantastic. So the paper show is a very important activities of Takeo. It's, it's a kind of the incubation of the talented people who can treat paper more Fabulous. The haptic is a theme of Takeo paper paper wall, paper show. The haptic is a 47th paper show. There is a many histories. And I think paper is a very important senseware for the human. A senseware, I think, the senseware is a medium, important medium that awakens the creativity of human. In the Stone Age, very old Stone Age, 
The stone is a very important sensor to awaken the human's activity. Its hardness, its weight, and uh, its feeling of existence. The stone is a very important uh, sensor. The stone awakens the possibility of people to create something. And the paper is important too. Paper is white, and the paper is crispy. The white is very easy to be soiled. And the crispy paper, the tension paper, is very easy to be destroyed. The paper is white and crispy and having very good tension, and very easy to be destroyed. This is a very fantastic aspect of paper, I think. And the, this kind of paper, uh, uh, The paper had been one of the most important sensors that always stimulating a human creativity, I think. If it has not been for the paper, the people's creativity is not so high, I think. The paper is not only the printing material, I think. Printing material, very bad things, very bad imagination for paper. Okay. And uh, subtle is the theme of the paper show. The meaning of subtle is delicate, infinitesimal. So it is very difficult to detect or grasp by the mind or analyze. That is subtle. How do you think? So. I asked the 14 creators to join the exhibition named Saturn. This is Misawa Haruka, the young woman designer, create this kind of strange object. This piece is produced by wrapping paper into the shape of pencil and sharpening it. Do you understand how to produce this one? And this is the final object. Very beautiful. I think this is just fits the feeling of subtle. Very delicate and very strange. Printed color and papers cross section like the layers of earth. And the edge of the shaved fibers with a wavy, swaying color look like flowers. Okay, Nakamura Ryuji, the young architect, created this kind of the very delicate structure. <coughs> this is a very small <coughs> one. Each ring has a diameter of 12 millimeters. Ling width of 0 0.5 millimeters and the paper thickness of 0 0.3 millimeters, very small. Rings linked up and joined simply at the individual point. This piece represents the flexibility and the strength of paper fiber as an architecture in minimal structure. In this scale, paper has a great strength to create the architecture, I think. Please see this real one in the exhibition. It's very difficult to uh, show the reality of this structure. Very small. And then Ishigami Jr., very fantastic, talented architect, create this kind of difficult object. By punching out the paper, Ishigami created a 1.5 meter long fixed with stripes. As far as possible, the punched out paper was placed randomly to avoid the patterns appearing. 
Do you understand? Each piece is com combined randomly to avoid making the patterns. Randomness is very important. The texture looks like the surface of the cotton towel or land filled with the fresh grass. This is a very small one, more, more small one. Please see this one in the exhibition. It is very subtle. If you zoom in, you can see the three-dimensional aspect of paper. But if you zoom out, it is the texture like a towel. Irobe Yoshiaki, the uh, young designer, created this kind of structure. You can see the letter H on the surface of paper that is performed like a lattice. Can you see the H? And at the same time, other letters float vaguely on the display stand to be viewed through the lattice. The white structure, we can read the I hate you. But in pink letters, you can see the I love you. The structure is very simple. Pink paper cut in the shape of the letter is put on the back of green paper. And the pink color is reflecting the display stand. And you can see the pink letters from through the structure of lattice. I hate you and I like you. I love you. Tomi Motohiro, the sculptor create this kind of strange sculpture. A small piece of light triangle is a corner of the sheet of paper. The corner. At the corner, it, there is an essence of paper, he said. How do you think? The weakness and strength fragility and sharpness, and the sadness that is in, in, in avoidable destiny of paper shown appeared in the tip of the corner. This is a sculptor. Misawa Haruka created another works in this exhibition. Paper vehicles of flight. The world of small mass and heavy air is a measure of the seed of plants, not of humans, nor of birds. He, she creates many forms of flying objects. Please see this video. A light object is falling in the heavy air. Subtle feeling. There are many flying object. This is another work done by <coughs> Wada Atsushi, the animation creator.
very strange feeling. The world which cannot be measured by a life yardstick like story is more delicate than story. What so he draw this kind of very delicate uh, pieces of drawing and creates a long animation. <coughs> is overlapping every picture. He traced all his drawing with that translucent paper. How do you think? This feeling touches the feeling of Saturn. Do you think? This is another work created by Kasai, Karu, Kasai Kaoru, a very famous art director. He created a very fantastic TV commercial and advertising. This is his object. Paper and small beautiful stone. Stone that tried to piece paper, but paper trying not to let it, let it do that, protecting the stone to piece the paper. There is a very fantastic tension in between the paper and the stones. How do you think? It's a special tension that is not created by printing. And this is my work. Named Chocolate Hats. It's a poetical thinking. The delicate cutting technology using lasers enables a sort of a detail in microscopic organisms. As you can see the uh, small creatures by through the microscope. How do you think? So I think how about putting this kind of object on the top of the chocolate? This is not for the real, real uh, hat of the chocolate. This is a poetical thinking. Hat of chocolate. How do you think? This place stand is carved naturally. And I put the chocolate hat on that. Please see the real one in the exhibition. And we move to the subtle collection. The works we already uh, show you is a subtle a creation. I asked the creator to create a new product for the exhibition. The subtle collection is a ready-made product I collected for the exhibition. This is a Japanese calligraphy, very strange calligraphy. From the left to the right, one line is one word. This is a one-line sentence. Calligrapher writing a letter by saying oh this is one letters. So it's one line letters. So the as you already know, the letter has a shape, sometimes shape. Letter has a sometimes sound. But uh, this is very abstract. The learning away from the meaning. But uh, we can feel something from this calligraphy. This is a one line calligraphy too. The top of the bottom. One line is one more. Very strange. Uh, this is uh, illustrated letters. In the ancient age or old age, People try to write letters as beautiful as possible. Letters should be elegant.
it looks sometimes interesting. How do you think? And uh, this is the notebook. One student of art university created this kind of the books by herself personally. This is another my work. The package for the cake, very special cake. A delicate tension made of crispy material, crispy paper material. I asked to create one package from to uh, by the one pa uh, uh, patisserie in Paris. I like this cake very much, so the, I create three types of package or one cakes. A natural curve is very fantastic. I think. How do you think? The molding technology used to create one. This kind of the natural tension is uh, the feature of paper, I think. <coughs> and a natural decay edge included in paper design enhances the attractiveness of the final product. Do you know the decay edge? They're not the machine cut. They're naturally made by the processing of creating paper. I like this kind of the decay edge. How do you think? The envelope. The envelope shows us uh, forms of irreversibility. And and closing. If we close a uh, uh, envelope, you should break it when you read it. That is a very interesting system. And holding paper produces a similar irreversibility. Japanese people, so in the even today, create this kind of the uh, packaging to wrap the money or to wrap something. Irreversibility is very important in this situation. If you mistake, it is uh, irreversible. A piece of white paper realizes the spirit of hospitality. You think in the national traditional style ryokan, the people use this kind of the paper on the uh, bone saucers. The white paper shows an expression of new beginning of things. This is a feeling of Japanese hospitality, I think. I do think. This is a book binding design of young designers. I think by touching a book, we can enjoy, enjoy the form or feeling of information. I think the book is a kind of the sculpture of information. So, as already we know, the paper is past the role of the uh, main media of communication to the digital media. I understand. But uh, I think book is a kind of a sculpture to enjoy the information. How do you think? This is a fan, old style fan, but no superfluous element is there. Perfect shape 
I think. We should learn a lot from this kind of products, even today. The reversibility is very important. It is a, it's this, this style is used to open the tissue paper. This system says you are the first person to open the sealed package. This is the cover of a straw. You are the first person to use a straw. This paper says irreversibility. How do you think? The aging is an important aspect of paper. Okay, this is another work. Ueda Yoshihiko, the talented photographer, make a portrait of paper. This photography is displayed in the whole world of the exhibit space. Portraits of papers. This is the detail of the exhibit uh, display. Exhibit stand is very created very subtle. Subtle also. Just like floating on the floor, because uh, most of the exhibit object is very small and thin. You can only see the display table is floating on the air. The feeding of the exhibit space is very subtle. And we created a book to explain the detail about the every object we show in the exhibition. If you feel some interest, please look to this hundred and look the books in the detail. Okay, I'd like to conclude my talk today. And uh, the, at the ending, I'd like to explain a little bit about the house, uh, Japan house. So the role of Japan house is not giving people the information about Japan, no. So the, today, is most of people always say, I know, I know. I know Japan, I know sushi, I know tempura, <laughs> I know Japanese style drumming, I know origami, oh, I know. But every time I hear this kind of no, no. How much do you know about Japan? So the Japanese people are not so good at explaining their own culture by themselves. So the Japanese people always showing the kimono and tempura and sushi. But uh, if I realize people, if I aware people, how little you know about Japan? We can stimulate the people's, people's interests about Japan. That is a very important point. So the, please see this video. This is explaining the basic concept of Japan house.
Okay. Well, the, so in Japan house, I'd like to show you the uh, many aspects of Japanese culture, from the high technology to the old craftsman, all the crafts, and from the subculture to the fine culture. So I'd like to show you the mo a little bit more deeper place of Japan. And uh, j you are in the uh, basement floor. There is a gallery and a hall to, to do the performance. And the uh, ground floor is a space to shop. We arrange the very fantastic uh, products of Japan. So not for sale to show the essence of Japan. And the first floor is a restaurant. I think I've never seen this kind of store even in Japan. So I like the atmosphere of Japan house in London. I, I hope many people in London, I think the most of the London people have never thinking about Japan. So the most of the w people who live in the world have never think about Japan at, the, at once, I think. If we can uh, stimulate these people, oh, Japan is a very special, very interesting place uh, to think about, and that will be succeed. Okay. Uh, please enjoy the Japan house and please see the Saturday exhibition from today. Thank you very much.